you know, a lot of time in my videos I talk about my cancer battle when I was a baby. And I write poems for children who are battling cancer or have battled. Uh, but the one thing I guess I never really talk about a lot is like the parents of these kids. The countless number of hours of sleep that they lose. Um, and I'm speaking from my parents point of view. I can't speak for all parents, but my parents when I was a baby, my parents point of view was such that um, they lost a lot of sleep and it was a constant back and forth you know like my dad would go back to you know back and forth from his job to the hospital come home get a shower get something to eat go back to work hospital home you know just back and forth all the time and he was so restless i remember he, he told me he used to i mean there were there were times when he would fall asleep the minute he would walk into the room he would just sit down and he would just be out he'd be you know he'd be fast asleep and my mother you know the same way um i mean the nurses would even suggest to my mom you know why don't you go home you know he's in the best of hands here why don't you just go home um get you a clean set of clothes you know take a nice shower get you something to eat you know, just relax for a little while or do whatever it is you do, um, you know, it, to enjoy your relaxation and spend some time at home with you and the husband and, you know, and, and a parent never leaves their child. I, I know it, it's, it may be sometimes it may be easy for the, for the nurses, but it's, I mean, it's never easy, but just to tell the parents, you know, you need a break, go home, relax. But the nurses also understand. Now, like I, when I had chemo, when I had my chemotherapy and I would have to set up to get sick, like my mom would hold me up, she would elevate me. And the nurses would even, you know, and the nurses would always tell my parents, they would say, we're not trying to take away your parenting however when children are at our facility they become our children and our instincts kick in just the same as yours please don't be offended by that we are not trying to take anything away from you um, we are just doing what any parent or any mature adult or I wouldn't say mature adult but any adult you know the instinct the natural instinct just kicks in just like that and so I guess in this video I because I'm friends with with uh, parents on Facebook whose children either have battled or they still battle and I just I, I don't say this nearly often enough I usually like I said I, I put the spotlight on myself or I put the spotlight on the children of the cancer, you know, the, the, the cancer patients. So parents, if, if you're watching this, I want you to know that I do care. I love all of you. And I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. It was difficult for my parents. Um, I wish there was something more I could say or something more I could do to just to help ease the pain of this because this is a real battle this is a real fight and a part of me will always be with you and all the other cancer kids out there and the families a part of me is with you always and I am just so sorry I am so sorry that your children have to go through such such atrocity in their little lives I mean it's it's just totally unfair um, and I speak on behalf of my parents who may not always find the right words to say to help other people in this time of desperation this time of need and comfort uh, so I'll speak for them and 
my parents, uh, they, uh, of course they care. I mean, you know, one of their children had gone through it. And you can never say never. You can never say, not my kid, not today, not tomorrow. It can happen. It can happen. And uh, I just want you parents to know that I do care. I've always cared. And um, just got to be strong. Just got to hang in there. Just be tough, you know. But I'm a survivor, 28 years. And, um, you know, I almost kind of feel guilty in a way for surviving my cancer because I know there are just millions, billions of children out there who did not. They lost their battle and a part of me dies with them. Um, God, I wish there was more I could say other than I'm sorry and I I, I wish I could have done it for them, you know. I wish I could have went through all that again just so your kids wouldn't have to. And but parents, I, 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 I know this is hard for you, and if your little one had went through it and they had survived it, congratulations. I love you so much. And, uh, boy, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> kind of a first for me. I'm at a loss for words. Um... You know, sometimes they like sometimes on Facebook I see they have these these me uh, what do they call them memes or memes or whatever. No one knows the fight like a kid with cancer, and those words could not be more truer than that. So uh, I love you all, and that's all I wanted to say for now. Parents, hang in there. Keep your chin up. Um, and those of you who have lost children, a part of me go, you know, a part of me has gone with them. And I am so sorry. I am so sorry for this. And I wish there was something I could do, but I can't. Um, I tell you what I can do, and I can keep you in my heart and in my thoughts constantly, all the time. And um, better days ahead. Just got to hang in there. But anyway, uh, that's all I wanted to say, guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace.